Hello there! Welcome to Mipo University! Today's assessment is for Wingspan board game. Game is about birds. We're going to take you through brief of if you first, give you a feel what the game is about, and then we'll give you our review and thoughts on the game. Coming up. I'm Stella. Here at Mipul University, we do a variety of quality board game videos. How to play, overview, review, playthrough, vlog, and segment at Board Game Breakfast, Dice Tower. So if you're new here, I'm glad that you found us and consider subscribing to us and hit the bell button so you get notified of our new videos. Now, let's get to the brief overview. In Wingspan, players are bird watchers attempting to put together the finest aviary of birds that they can over four rounds of play. Gameplay is very straightforward. Players are trying to play bird cards onto their boards for points. To play a card, a player needs three things. A bird card in hand, food tokens matching the requirements of that bird, and eggs matching the number of the column in which the bird is placed. These requirements form the basis of the only four basic actions available in the game. Playing birds, gaining food, laying eggs, and drawing cards. And on each turn, a player chooses one of these four actions to take. The game will escalate in pace. Each time more birds are added to a row, the basic action in that row becomes more powerful. With the number of food, eggs or cards the player is able to draw on a single action increasing. Additionally, most birds come with a special power shown in this bar at the bottom of the card, which activates in right to left order each time its main row is activated. Some are worth extra resources, some will combo off what your opponents are doing, and some collect food or other birds in order to gain straight victory points. Thus, players will seek to put together the most effective combinations of birds that they can in specific rows in order to maximize their points. Players will use and then move these action cubes in order to keep track of their actions and avoid confusion. Players will have fewer overall actions in each subsequent round, but will be able to do more on each round because of the combinations that the birds provide. In addition to scoring directly from bird cards and from the eggs, food tokens and cards that those birds collect, players will gain extra points by meeting specific combinations of bird types found on their personal objective cards and on the common end of round objective tiles. The player with the highest score after four rounds wins. Well, if you don't know how to play or what Wingspan is about, hope our brief overview gives you a little bit of idea about how it plays. Now, on with the review. Let me start talking about the artwork and components of Wingspan. Oh my god, it is really pretty if you haven't already noticed. Rulebook, even the rulebook has got one of the best finish I've seen in a game. It's very luxurious. It's really good quality. The colors of everything here, the color scheme is really pretty. The bird eggs here, I'll just put it in a um, small brown bag here, is really great. The pictures of the bird, they're just amazing along with a bit of information for each bird for those birds enthusiasts. The trays for the goods, the, um, the dice tower, is just amazing. You have to assemble it first. Um, it's really pretty. You just, you know, throw all your dice here and put a dice tower. Um, one, just a little bit of um, criticism that I would say is that the it could be a little bit fiddly. Um, it could just be me as well. So just just be really careful in assembling this. Um, it might actually come off a little bit. So uh, that's the only thing. But it is just amazing components. The bird cards, they are 170 birds, different birds, 70 cards. They're all unique with different powers, different birds with a little bit of information about the birds. It feels like pretty much all the components, even the 
the trays that you put the cards because everything else looks so good this is the only thing that I've, I've found that it looks it, it's not bad it just feels like compared to the rest of the components this is the the least pretty but still it's, it's not even a criticism it's just everything is just so good so by the way we do a how to assemble dice tower video for this dice tower so check that out if you are interested of course it's not as hard as ikea it's, it's really simple to put them together now onto the theme it's really great it really suits the theme it's breeding beds in the habitats all the birds cards all the bird house in the dice tower the play bird actions um, they all just suits uh, the theme what you do it's just it's really great the birds power makes sense to the game as well as it suits the actual birds what they do in real life uh, for example there are birds that allow you to earn food when activated similarly in real life the birds would collect that type of food as well so it's it's really realistic now mechanics and gameplay it plays one to five so there's a, a solo mode as well which is good uh, plays about 40 70 minutes longer if you just start it uh, and just quicker if you play a few times h10 plus hand management dice rolling set collection the luck base is part of the dice roll and the cards that you draw but it's okay because it's not a very heavy game and uh, in terms of if it's a really heavy game then you probably want to have least and least luck based actions the tableau building element is really easy to keep track of because of the single row activations so you basically just keep track on the rows only mostly that you activate and whatever it is that you need to activate it's it doesn't have the elements of you know most tableau building where you have to watch every single card make sure you don't miss anything although there are some elements where you actually have to keep track of on other people's turn but that's probably only I don't know 30% of the cards that you would have I would imagine the game is played mostly solitary but it also keeps interaction through um, there being cards to combo with other players doing as I said before so that's the pro for interactions and you have to keep track of what other people are doing you can't really be distracted especially if you have a card that activates on other people's certain action on other people's turn so you have to make sure that you're not distracted otherwise it might actually bog down the time of play a little bit the game itself it has got a good depth of it for something with quite simple rules it allows you to combo certain things and just you know like any other good games it also feels like there's not enough action for you to complete everything it also escalates a little bit where at the start of a game you have many actions but towards the end of the game you have less and less actions because you have less and less action cubes but your action is normally more powerful towards the end of the game so I guess that's balanced it out as well the game length or downtime as I said before it's medium tends not too hard again this is also because of the streamline and activating the cards and the actions all in one row it just makes it so much easier and faster replayability I think it is highly replayable with the amount of bird cards you can probably just one game you you probably seen like 6 10 20 um, you hardly scratch the surface of the bird cards you all it's also randomized by the uh, random goal every round so you have different goal each round that makes it different every round and also your secret objective cards that's also different there's just that many cards included in the game and you randomly select you know be given two and then you select one that makes every game it's just so different and the different combos that you can have on all of the bird cards as well that makes it highly replayable this is one of those games that after playing it whether you win or not which I didn't you just want to play this right away and try different combinations of the cards so we did we played again now comparison with other similar games I would think Everdale season gizmos um, however this one again it's better more controlled uh, but you need to know however a certain degree on what sort of cards they are now new player I think might get a little disadvantage uh, where you don't know what the cards are yet um, it's probably good to flick through the cards probably at the beginning 
but I think you probably need to play a few times to know what combos you can do or maybe as you you know know just a little bit what sort of card may come out so you can prepare yourself for possible combos that you can do um, again with uh, Wingspan compared to Seasoned Everdale, Everdale is a really good game, Season I like, like all the blue building games I like but this is again more streamlined, it's a bit like Gizmos where you activate things in one um, one line just makes it so much easier that way Comparison to Designer's previous game, no This is Elizabeth Hargrave's first game that is available in retail I found out that there's a game called Tassie Masi was her first game and I believe that was probably just print and play and available on the web only um, The type of group that you would play this game with would be because it is a good medium complexity it probably good with casual to seasonal gamer uh, it's not as complex as seasons um, it's the com complexity is a little bit like Everdale complexity so if you like Everdale I think you're gonna like this game as well our assessment of Wingspan board game. We hope that you find this lecture is useful. Feel free to agree or disagree, after all this is our thoughts of the game. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by clicking the like button and write your questions or feedback in the comment sections below. You can also join our Facebook group Meeple University community to share your love of board game. If you like to be one of the first one to be notified of our next video, please subscribe to us or you can click the meeple in the corner and hit the bell button so you get notification of our new videos. Wingspan Board Games, pass with honors. <laughs>